so I am headed out because I did a little Facebook marketplace shopping and I found a lot of actual really good vintage items but unfortunately most people have not messaged me back um, on the offers that I was given for um, the items that I saw that were really good really reasonably priced but sometimes when they don't get back to you it could be a sign that it wasn't an actual good reputable seller some of them didn't have any ratings so you know better safe than sorry I always tell myself if it's meant to be it'll be and if it wasn't meant to be then that that's this you know just as good so I'm stopping for gas and I also have to run inside because I need change to pay for this Facebook purchase. I only have large bills and I need to break a large bill. Um, so I'm gonna do that real quick. So I will get back on here after we're gassed up. Oh my, so I got gas and got on the road. I The GPS in my car would not recognize the, um, the address that I was putting in. So I had to use my phone to, to find this place. And I'm just gonna say that it is way back in the boonies. Talk about country off the grid, it's here. Um, most of this is dirt road, one lane, extremely curvy, ext <laughs> but parts of it are paved in like a little, little neighborhood nestled in the middle of the mountains. So it's a very odd, off the wall place but this is an amazing vintage dealer this is um, a lady and her husband who go to estate sales and buy out estate sales and they have amazing vintage and antiques on Facebook beautiful beautiful items extremely reasonably priced and this lady I'm keeping in my back pocket, she said that anything that I specifically am looking for, just to hit her up, nine times out of 10, they can find it for me at a good price. Um, and she does ship. I'm just gonna let you know, she does ship. She doesn't, she only ships flat rate. So it would have to be something that she could put in the flat rate boxes. So I'm gonna get off here so that I can Make sure I have my phone as a backup to know how to get home. <laughs> but when we get home, we're gonna go through this treasure trove in the back that I've scored for 20 bucks. So we're gonna go through these goodies. I'm so excited. So I got a bunch of ornaments. And then this is not the original box, but look at all those. Oh my gosh. I'm like in love. There's a bell in here, hold on. There's a bell. Look, a little teeny bell. And then these are not broken, but you can tell that some had been broken in here. Not all of them have their um, tops. See this, well actually that one has a little bit of one. They're just absolutely gorgeous. I'm tickled to have all of these. I wish they came in the original box, but that's okay. So I have those. And then I kind of perused this box a little bit. Look at that. There is one in here that is broken. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna salvage it or not but it did it is broken um i'm just gonna lay that here for a second but there are this kind and look there's a few of these in there aren't they adorable oh i'm loving it there's a few of these bells pinkish looking one, pinkish purplish looking one. And then there's just a bunch of these types of ornaments in there. All different colors. Um, and then, look, there's the Santa ball. 
Isn't that cute? And then there's this. I've never seen one like this before. So, kind of cool. There's this bell. There's another little one in here. And then bells like this. So it's full of vintage goodies. And then there's, this is a felt candle. It's not a real candle. It's a felt candle. Um, and here is that, there's only one of these. That is super cool. And then, look, it's a reflector. I'm looking for these. I want a bunch of those. There's only one of those in here. And then there's this little bird. Look at that. So then, I have this box as well. <laughs> and I also have another tote that I'm picking up tomorrow. It, okay, so, this I don't know if it's vintage or not. It doesn't give vintage to me. Um, and it's missing one of its ears. So I'm assuming it needs to be glued back on here. But anyway, he's cute. Definitely cute. I'm gonna put him to the side. I have not gone through this box, so we're doing it together. Look at this. I can see a vintage Santa in this sleigh. It needs cleaned, but super excited about it. Again, I don't I don't necessarily think this is vintage or antique or anything, but I do like it. Um, look, this is a ceramic Santa. He's ceramic, but there's no markings on him, so I don't, I mean, this definitely could be vintage. Um, not 100% sure. He's definitely older. He's, he's not a newer piece. He's not, got a lot of wear and tear on him. And he's heavy, solid ceramic, so. Very cute, though. Let me move the broken one. There's several bags in here. There's this little chair of ornament. It's kind of cute. I'm okay with it. It's not like this is not, I don't know. If I might sell this. I don't know. And then I think I'll keep her. Look at how cute she is. She definitely gives vintage vibes because of the way that her hair is. She just is giving vintage vibes. I remember this from my childhood and I'm vintage, so. Um, so we've got those. Uh -huh. We'll go through bag number one. Actually, before we go through the bag, let me finish the bigger stuff that's in here. Look at this. I'm loving it. This, I remember, it's the vintage plastic, um, plastic greenery. And I am, I remember this so well. It has the little teeny pieces attached to it. I am in love with it. In love. Uh, I want to collect the shiny brights, the reflector bulbs, and I also want to get some of the vintage greenery that's that really gaudy plastic. <laughs> as weird as that sounds. I definitely want some of that. So there's that, and then there's, there's this in there. And it's just a very pretty little tree. It has a sharp little topper to it. Um, and it's got the little berries stuck in it. They're attached, but they seem a little fragile, but I'm not sure. I've never seen anything like this, so I'm not sure if someone made it out of something or what, but it's cute. Definitely something I will use if I don't break it. All right. I was hoping that it was the reflector topper, but it's not, it's not a reflector. But it's so gorgeous that I love it. All right, Ooh. 
a little teeny wood house. Cute. Again, this is probably something I will put in my booth. I don't think I'll keep that. <laughs> Look at this little vintage house. Oh my gosh. I definitely... I could definitely clean this up and make it into something really cool. It even has a little light right there. I don't know, I might. I don't know, I'm gonna clean it up and then think on that. And then this. It says season's greeting. Okay, it does have some damage because the windows have been busted out, but I can fix that. I can repair that. I do have red vel vellum and I can very easily take that out and put new red vellum in to repair this and then it'll be as good as new. Um, but I love the little bottle brush trees. Can you imagine the little teeny Santas or a little teeny Santa and his reindeer on the top of that? Or staged in a box, um, a vintage box? Yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. I love that. Oh my Look at her. Is she not the cutest little baby? She definitely has seen better days. I'm gonna have to give her some TLC. Clean her up a little bit. But I love her. <laughs> She's so cute. So let's go let's see what's in here. There's another little box. I'm gonna go through that. Oh! So. There's some strawberries. This will be cute for, this will be cute for, maybe for Valentine's Day. Look at the little train. Oh. And a little hummingbird. How cute is that? And then there's also like a little bell. I don't think that's vintage. It's too shiny and not rusted. All right, so that's that box. Oh, I'm sleepy. We're gonna go through bag number one first. Oh, wow. There's a glass bell. I definitely think that's probably vintage. Um, I do remember these when I was younger. This is definitely vintage. It is a plastic little mouse that kind of bobbles a little bit. How cute. And this is a felt hat, felt ears, felt heart. Actually, he's all like felty. <laughs> that's how I know he's vintage because that's what they used to do, how they used to make little things when, um, when I was growing up. Very cute. Then there is this other glass on the mint. How cute is that? I've been everything so far. Is he amazing? I'm going to put a bottle brush tree in him. He's gonna look good with the bottle brush tree. 
Last thing in this bag is another little Santa. These are definitely vintage and worth, worth something. Maybe not to everybody. Art took a look at these and he's like, this looks like a bunch of junk. <laughs> I'm like, trust me, honey, it is not. It's expensive junk. Okay, bag number two. I love how this looks. The lamp post, it's definitely giving all the vintage vibes. Definitely. Because of the coloring of it. think that he's vintage. I'm not I'm not getting a vintage feel, but he is definitely cute and will go great with everything that I've got um, going on in my trees. What is this? Susan from the old so-and-so. Susan. There's also a room back here. It's almost like somebody added the green, but the original ribbon is here. It's gold. You see that? It has little balls in it. It's definitely seen better days. this out because this is driving me I have these beads. They're a little entangled. Some vintage beads. Decorating the tree, 1978. I love it. It has a little damage. I think it was supposed to have a tip on it, but oh my gosh. 1978. Oh my heart, so happy. Again, I don't think this is vintage, but very cute. goodies in here that I'm saving for last. I'm trying to get to the... Oh, look. It's a cute little, bike, little tricycle. That is cute. Alright. Oh. 
It's not a real candle. It's all plastic. It was 10 cents. Let me get my glasses and see if there's a year on this. Okay, there isn't a year on it, but it is a copyright from Buffalo, New York. It was 10 cents. And it says, air currents may cause drips. Place on a plate while burning. Copyright. Gutley Novelty Company, Buffalo, New York, USA. It doesn't feel like it's a candle at all. It feels like it's plastic. The wick goes in and out. So I'm assuming that just the wick will burn. But I'm not burning it. But it was 10 cents back when they came out. How cool is that? Oh. Okay, we're almost at the end. Now, I used to make these. So, could this be vintage? Yes, it could. Um, but I remember making these. This was a big thing to make when you were in elementary school, when I was a little kid. Um, all right, and then, there's a little tree that's like, you know, the little cookie tree. I say it's not a cookie tree, but you know what I mean. People used to do the star cookies and ice them. It's kind of like that. Um, they do move. Very cute. But the best part <laughs> are all of these little trees. Okay. Let's start with, I got two of these in the bag. They need some fluffing. They need some TLC. And they will get it. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Oh, 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 oh. I have the, the, the jackpot and bottle, bottle brush trees. Susan, look. Look at that. Oh my god. This one has red tip candles. See the red tips? And then this one just has white tip candles. I'm loving them. Absolutely adorable. Oh my gosh. There's only two more trees, and that'll complete everything that, that is in here. But there's this one, and I love the gold. I love that gold color. And this one's probably my favorite. Very unique. Look at that. Look at that 
ornaments, the little mini ornaments that are stuck in this bottle brush tree. They are all over this tree. Look at that. Look, there's a little mini right there, pine cone, I mean. There's another little mini pine cone over here. See that? Oh, I can't. My, I can't. I think I did really good. I think I scored really, really well with my vintage box right here. And yes, it's probably not everybody's cup of tea. There are some things in here. I know that when people do vintage, they, um, or they think vintage, they think of, you know, pretty things that fit into their their vignettes or their style or their color motif or whatever um and i like that too but i i like true true vintage you know with all the wear and tear with all its weirdness because back when i was growing up and when my parents were growing up times were a lot different their technology was like at a snail's pace of anything we had rotary phones we had antennas instead of cable boxes. We literally had to get up and change our TV to change the channel. And most of the shows we watched were in black and white. <laughs> so for me, vintage is, it's not, it's not glamorous. It's not shiny and all of that. It's, it's very nostalgic. It's very, worn and old and it was something made from nothing pretty much I mean this is nothing more than a glorified pipe cleaner from back in the early 1950s or 60s you know or maybe even the 1940s something in the 1950s um, but that's all that is that's what that is and I think, I really think that there's beauty in the simplicity. So, yes, I'm going to clean them up. And for the most part, I'm going to use everything in my home. There's a few things that I will take to my booth um, and sell there. Um, I think my booth will be a mixture of vintage and a mixture of new things or gently worn things that I've come across that I've loved but no longer have the use for. So it'll be like a very eclectic little mix of things, but nonetheless, I'm gonna enjoy these in my home and I'm gonna cherish them. The vintage is definitely where my heart is right now. Um, so, you know, some of this I definitely will take to the booth, but <laughs> most of it I'll keep here. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get these things cleaned up and packed away for next year. I can't. I can't. I think I said that everyone knows. Okay, so I'm going to clean these up and pack them away for next year. I am in the process of taking down Christmas um, because of my work schedule, um, because I work full-time outside of the home and work is going to pick up and be a lot more hectic in the new year. So because of that, um, I'm going to have to just stay ahead of the, stay ahead of the curve. Would I like to keep everything up until after New Year's? Absolutely. But the reality of my energy level and everything that's on my plate I probably should take advantage of the fact that I am off this week because our business is closed for the week um, we reopen on January 2nd and that's when I go back to work so I have from now until then to get the house kind of at a blank slate and have my Christmas all in the basement and organized not necessarily packed away but organized so that it's ready to be packed properly in bins and 
and all of that, I need to purchase a few more bins. Um, and I'm going to be purging as I pack and delegating things that are going to go to the booth versus what I'm going to keep and use here. So that once I get everything to the basement, I can take my time on the weekends and after work to kind of go through that. But the goal is to get everything from up upstairs and on the main level down to the basement. That is the goal to get done. I've already stripped the upstairs and I have made a little dent in the downstairs. As you can see, I still have tons left to do. So after that and getting the house ready for every day. Um, so you'll basically be seeing the decorate with me's that are more everyday type stuff and then incorporating more vintage into the house and more antiques and things like that. So until we do this all again, which may be tomorrow, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Bye.